Okay. So we start with our clay. And the first thing you want to know is what kind of polymer clay you want to use. In this workshop, as in most of my workshops, I use Primo's clay because it's a very easy clay to work with when you're learning. Uh, you can get into any other kinds of clays if you have some experience to compare it with. So that's why I start with this one. And we have three clays here. One is white, one is ecru, and one is translucent. I use a mix of the three because I feel that there's properties in each of these that give me a neutral that I can use. So this is a standard thing. I haven't changed it from the beginning of teaching because I find it works really well. Now I'll take these little blocks and cut it again into two blocks. And there's our unit of clay. Just a nice amount to mix up. And then I cut it again and I'm ready for the pasta machine. So you can use any mix you want, but this is my basic mix. Okay, we're ready to mix our polymer. We have our three clays. We've cut them into thin slices because we don't want to jam them into the pasta machine. And now we feed it through. Begin the process of blending and conditioning the polymer. You can see my video is jumping a bit because I'm on the edge of my table. But that's what you get for being guinea pig. You need to jump around if I'm jumping around. So you see how I'm feeding this down through, folding it, putting it back through, and when the polymer's fresh, this is really easy. When it's not so fresh, sometimes it'll crumble. And that's when I usually warm it up a little bit next to my skin in a plastic bag. Some way to get a little more heat into the polymer. And it, you'll find that it mixes more easily when it's warm. So we're gonna put it through this pasta machine repeatedly until the colors are blended into what I call the neutral clay that we're gonna work with. And there's, there's a number, sort of a purpose number, which is number 30. 30 times through the machine is a good number to know that you're conditioning the clay properly and have the most elasticity into your clay. And within 30 times, you should have a nice smooth mix of clay. And that's all there is to mixing clay. Mm -hmm. 